I help manage the Orion Crew and Service Module Office. Um, we're responsible for developing the crew capsule, which is where the crew lives and works when they're in space, um, and the service module, which is what provides the, the power and the fuel um, and the consumables then that is plumbed over to uh, the crew module. Uh, so right now I focus a lot of my time on the development of uh, the life support system uh, for the Orion crew module. Space puts us in a different environment. When we're here on Earth, we're, we don't realize every day we're protected by the environment around us. We're, our bodies are at a certain pressure, we're protected by the natural radiation shield of the Earth, um, and when we go out into space and we don't have that natural protection, then um, the engineering and the spacecraft have to provide that protection for us. We don't have the ultimate answer for radiation on Orion. We're still working on that. Um, you know, if we were to build Orion out of the materials we need and the sole job was to protect for the radiation environment, the vehicle would really be too heavy. So we have to balance the weight of the materials that we put on the spacecraft um, with how much protection it's providing the crew. So we're really looking at it from an operational perspective. If we um, understand a radiation event has happened, the crew will actually take shelter in the aft bay of the vehicle, which is kind of down in the back end. Um, and we'll use some of the stowage things that are around them in that back end to kind of protect them from the radiation. Uh, we have found over the years that uh, water is a really great radiation absorbing material. Um, so we could do things like uh, water that's already there in the water bags for drinking and things like that, that, that water could be used to shield them, uh, as well as we had some concepts like a, a water field vest that they could put on should they, um, should they know there's an event and need to be protected. Mm -hmm.